Hey collective, welcome back to my channel, The African Gypsy. I am your girl Sunshine, back with another short message. One of the messages that, that came up earlier on is, I disguise myself as a friend. Let's get some more uh, spiritual intelligence on that. Who disguise themselves as a friend and to what end? What did they hope to achieve by wasting so much time pretending to be a friend of yours? What was their mission? They were given an offer, someone was given an offer and asked to disguise themselves as your friend. What was the mission? But judgment is coming down on them. They should have made a wiser decision about that. They were paid money seek in secret with the moon card coming up there. They were secretly paid money to come and disguise themselves as a friend. This could be revealed to some of you around the 1st of August, um, whenever you're finding this reading. Or the next full moon, whenever that's going to be when you find this reading. I just And now they feel like a fool. Why does this person, this fake friend, feel like a fool now? No fake friends over here. Because you're going to have a reason to celebrate. Why are they feeling like a fool? And they see that you're very disciplined. You're liked by a lot of people. You've got a lot of integrity. You work in truth. You're hardworking. You're honest. You have values. And these are not things that just fell on a tree. You work on it day by day. Even when you have a choice to do something that goes below integrity, you always try and choose the right thing to do. Of course, you're human. We're all human. We all mess up um, occasionally. Yeah, but you no, know, you try and choose integrity as much as you can. What more do we need to know about disguise yourself as your friend? This try, person tried to disguise themselves as a person who has a lot of love for you. So they tried to love bomb you. This may be a fake love who came in um, acting like they're so in love with you. They can't live without you. This, uh, why do they do this? Why were they paid money to do this? Because they saw that you're very disciplined, so they try to break that discipline, to break your step, to make you turn against your values and your norms. That's what I'm hearing. Why were they paid to disguise themselves as your friend? You don't even want it to be seen. They fell down. Well, it's all going to be exposed. It's all going to be exposed. Why, why did they do that? Why were they paid to disguise themselves as your friend? This could be a person who saw that you're very disciplined and they try to break that. And they saw that you're very balanced. They're trying to make you live a life of, ex, of, of excess. They try to stop you from traveling, from moving forward. For some of you, are supposed to relocate. And this person was brought in to try and stop you, to try and break your strength, to usurp your power, to take your power, to dilute your power or your values, to blind your intuition, to leave you broke. To leave you out in the cold, to leave you isolated at the end of the day, to love bomb you and then throw you away and bring trauma back into your life if you experienced this type of trauma before. Why did this person disguise themselves as a fake friend? Because you were too guarded. You had very strong boundaries. So they tried to make themselves a friend, but they're using magic like glamour spells for your intuition to be dull, for you to not see them for what they really are. And they see that you're a person who's actually like wife or husband material. Let's ask the cheeky madams real fast. Why did this person disguise themselves as a friend? What did they hope to achieve by disguising themselves as a friend? They felt like you were doing a service to the community because the whole community of people say that you are, you are not easy um, to be with. This is a person who is biting the hand that fed them. You fed this person and they're biting that hand. And there's a very, very big punishment for people who bite the hand that feeds them. Why do they? Why were they paid to disguise themselves as your friend in, in someone's case here? They are coming in with ulterior motives. What is the ulterior motive? What did they hope to achieve by disguising themselves as your friend? Well, they're being a judge. They're trying to hide some sort of a crime against you or hide some evidence that you were supposed to come up against. And now they're being judged for that. They're being judged by the Most High. They're going through some sort of karma in secret, karma that they can't even tell you about. But you being intuitive and having listened to your dreams, yeah, are you hearing that? And this person's down for the account. It's only a matter of time before they're taken down, before you discover what they were doing. And you got the attention of some very important people. You have their respect. Uh, you know, they're going to tell you that this person is a fake friend. So let's find out more about that. I disguise myself as a friend. They forgot to pay the practitioner. Remember, they were doing glamour spells. And now that they stopped, the practitioner took away the whole glamour. Now you're seeing them. Your intuition, your spidey senses are telling you that, you know what? This person is my friend, but there's just something that's off about this friendship. They try a bit too, too much or their actions don't match their words. Until their actions match their words. Then you can see that this is a true friend. But that's what's like giving you the red flags that every time they promise A, B, and C, they never come through. So what else are they lying about? Talk to your ancestors, angels, and spirit guides about this person. At this juncture, let me look into our coffee cup 
and see what else we need to know about this person who disguised themselves as a friend. This could be a person who's very tall, maybe they wear their hair big or their hair is big and fluffy in some way. And I'm seeing that this person is going away from you and they're going to talk to a group of people about you. This person is part of some sort of a cult, an order. You could also be dealing with a, a Taurus involved here. This person is going off to report to some person who's very mean-spirited, who's the head of this cult, this order, this thing. And I have the word S-E-X in here. Whoa. So this person was trying to make sure that they have SEX with you to try and dull your senses in some way. This is a person, oh, oh gosh, oh gosh, okay, I'm seeing something else. Yeah, this person has demons that are transmitted by through SEX as well. And this person regards themselves as someone who's very uh, uh, attractive. So that's why they send them in They're like, no, no, no woman can turn down this man or no man can turn down this woman. So we're going to send her in. This is like an old story. Remember Samson and Delilah? Yeah. That's like an old trick in the book. It's, it's nothing new. So don't think that this has happened to you and, and it's totally brand new. But I see the most high looking down on this person and this person is now bound to the promises they made. They thought they were going to, yeah, I see an angel coming through. They thought they were going to get a lot of payment by betraying you, but this payment is not coming through. The money that they received has become a curse. Anything that they spent that money on is disappearing. If they bought a new steering wheel with the money that they got to sell you out, that steering wheel is falling apart. Whatever they bought with the money that they got to, to sell you out is falling apart. It's becoming a curse. I see an energy of a chariot. Someone's coming in with information to you about this fake friend. Someone is whispering. Someone's whispering to you that, hey, do you know that so-and-so is a fake friend? Or do you know that so-and-so has been paid so much to do A, B, and C? I'm hearing $500. I see a car here. I see, oh gosh, like an inspector, inspector gadget energy in here. I see an inspector in a car with one, two, three, four, five, five other people. It must be a big car. It looks like a, a pickup kind of a thing. Yeah, I see them going towards this person and I see a sudden surprise coming to this person. It's like someone's been caught in the middle of a transaction. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh, golly gosh. It's been a minute since I last did a coffee cup reading, but today I was guided and they told me, no, at the right time, you're going to do this coffee cup reading for the collective. What else do we need to know about this person who disguised themselves as a friend? There could be a Scorpio involved or they could have Scorpio highly aspected in their chart, but don't hold your breath, honey. I'll never own up to the truth. So even if you ask me, like, you know what? I had a dream about you that you were a fake friend or so-and-so told me that you're a fake friend. They'll never own up. Whatever magic they were sent to do on you, they needed someone in close proximity to you. That magic has been removed. First, let's find out what's the outcome of this fake friend. What's going to happen to this fake friend? This fake friend is going to be praying. There's going to be praying. They did something unorthodox. Their friends are going to leave them. They're going to have a lot of dishonest friends. Their friends are going to sell them out and turn on them. Because they were fake friends, so they're going to have fake friends. That's karma right there. They're going to be, their path is going to be blocked. There's going to be no d d direction to go forward in the future. Their path is blocked. They have not learned their lessons. Their life is going to be turned upside down. They were trying to come in there for some of you to love bomb you, to have one night stand with you. But for you, and they're going to lose their money that they got as an investment in being a one night stand or a, an easy lover. And you're going to heal from the heartbreak that they tried to send to you. Oh gosh, their strength is going to fail them. They're going to feel weak in their, in their body because of this transaction that's actually going to leave them broke at the end of the day. They're going to be able to move forward. They're going to experience bad luck and karma. Other people are going to be disloyal to them. People are going to cheat on them as well. Their own partners in their life are going to cheat on, cheat on them because that's the energy they sent out. Whew.